And we're going to take a look at our weather today. What a beautiful day it is out there now after some storms have come and gone. Yeah, the skies are blue, but I guess some storms could still be on their way, Derek. Yeah, still watching the possibility of some redevelopment here over the next couple of hours. That's something we're going to be taking a really close look at here uh, through sunset. Not everybody's going to see this second round of storms, but I do think we're going to see some redevelopment before we can just say goodbye to this, at least for the time being. And then we're going to be saying hello to significant heat and humidity across our area, the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this season. We still have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the counties in Orange. That goes until 8 o'clock tonight. And again, that possibility is still there for some of these storms to produce some gusty winds and some heavy rainfall that could lead to some flash flooding. We saw that this afternoon across parts of southeast Baltimore County in the form of some flash flooding that occurred there and also some gusty winds over on the eastern shore. Flood watch again goes in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. Where are the storms right now? Mainly over in the parts of the lower eastern shore and far southern Maryland. Uh, some of the stronger storms now across parts of Talbot as well as Dorchester County, down into southern Calvert as well as St. Mary's County. Not much else going on across the state, but you can see that general movement is off towards the south and east. Now we're keeping an eye out towards the west and south where we could get some redevelopment. There's still some energy in the upper atmosphere that still has to swing through in the next couple of hours. So we could get a couple more storms popping up this evening. And then with all the heat and humidity in place, some of those could be severe. We cool off a little bit out at uh, BWI Thurgood Marshall at 83. Still 90, though, Frederick and Westminster. Areas that have not seen rain, though, still well into the 80s uh, to around 90 degrees. So storm chances will continue here through this evening, tapering off here later on tonight. Overnight lows, upper 60s to around 70. And then the heat starts building in here as we get towards the end of the week here, as we're going to be watching high pressure in the upper atmosphere strengthen over our region. But that's that storm development I was talking about here through about 7 to 10 o'clock tonight here, heading over to the eastern shore. So maybe a little bit before sunset and then towards sunset. And then after that, by midnight, all the storms should be gone. It looks like tomorrow will be quiet. But look at all the heat to our south and west, starting to get in the low 90s. Nashville, Atlanta, down towards Charleston, Raleigh. Look at the muggy meter, really starting to spike up here. Dangerous heat and humidity expected here by Thursday afternoon. And these are the kind of heat indices we could be looking at. 100 to 105, maybe some isolated instances where it gets above 105 for Thursday. Thursday, Friday, into Saturday. Relief, though, comes by the end of the weekend. So we do expect this to be a short duration heat wave, but it's going to be uh, pretty nasty, though, when it does arrive. 92, your expected high tomorrow. Chance for rain next to nothing here. So looking dry here for your Wednesday. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. The hottest day is going to be again around Thursday and Friday, the hottest days, Thursday and Friday, upper 90s to near 100 degrees. Heat index will be over 105. And then storm chances return to the forecast by Saturday. We could see an isolated storm late Thursday, but the better chances will come Saturday with the front through early Sunday. And then much cooler weather here to start next week. Back to you.